You know, some people say that casting a vote for Jill and Ajamu are wasting their votes. But that's ridiculous because the only wasted vote is the vote that is not cast or cast for somebody that you do not believe in. If you actually want to live in a world of peace, justice, democracy, and ecology, see, not just talk about it, but actually live in it, you've got to be willing to invest your vote in a movement for those things. Think about it. What did it take for alternative political parties to champion at the ballot box? Here's a short list. The abolition of slavery, women getting the right to vote, the creation of the Social Security Administration, unemployment insurance, workers' compensation laws, pure food and drug laws, ending child labor, the direct election of the United States Senate. Folks, the entire fabric of what we today would consider the bare damn minimum for a just and compassionate society, that fabric was woven together by ordinary people just like you and me who did their work to build alternative political parties, who did their work when they were called naive or unrealistic, who did their work when they were called dangerous and Americans, who did their work when they were called spoilers. So if you want to live in that new world, you've got to have your courage to actually vote for candidates who are advocating for such things. Don't waste your vote on a failed two-party system. Invest your vote in a movement for real change. That's our invitation to you. Hell, that's our challenge to you. Join a movement that's getting larger, stronger, and better organized every day. The electoral arm of that movement is the Green Party. Remember, it's in our hands.